Now at 530, overcrowding concerns at Wad Wadsworth State Park. Families living in that area say the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection is not enforcing its rules to fix the problem. Town officials and neighbors say it creates safety hazards and other problems, especially when it's hot outside. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live right now with more details on the story for us tonight. Mike. Yes, neighbors of Wadsworth Falls Park told us today that people will park on this roadway. You can see how narrow it is. They also say visitors don't follow rules about swimming or picnicking, and now they want the state to do something about it. It's not made for this. Middlefield residents say they're fed up with the activity at Wadsworth Park. Something's got to be done. Close it down. Then we wouldn't have all the trouble we have. Pat Radka says the problems occur whenever the little park gets busy. Visitors will park on the roadway when the parking lot is full. Visitors also ignore signs banning swimming and picnicking. I see the mess that's down here every day. Middlefield you know First Electman Edward Bailey says the problems continue because the DEEP doesn't provide the staffing to enforce the agency's own rules. He says he's tried to get deep to address the problem. Basically shrug their shoulders and they, they just don't have the resources to deal with the, uh, the issues going on inside the park. Deep said in a statement today that the large crowds at all state parks are likely due to the number of hot sunny days this summer. The agency said it typically works with local and state police to enforce no parking areas. Deep added, we also spend a significant amount of staff time cleaning up after some of our visitors who do not properly manage their litter. We urge all our visitors to please be considerate of all our park goers and our staff and take their trash with them and place it in the dumpsters available. But Bailey says he's been relying on resident troopers working overtime to enforce the no parking rule. During a recent Sunday, a trooper wrote 38 parking tickets. Bailey says he's considering sending overtime bills and taking other steps to get Deep's attention. Well, I'm thinking of sending the state a, state a uh, cease and desist order for zoning violations because if that was a business in town and they were doing what they're doing, we would, we would, we would have a cease, give them a cease and desist. Bailey says all the extra cars lead to safety concerns for the town. The issue with the parking is really a matter of safety. The road gets um, uh, blocked. As for neighbors, they just want visitors to observe park rules. Don't be such pigs. You know, sign says, take out what you bring in. Bailey says that safety concern goes even for the visitors of this park. Just this past April, a uh, mountain biker died from an apparent mountain biking accident. Bailey says those obstructions won't allow ambulances to get into this park. Live from Middlefield, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.